All right, we're gonna show cutting Lapua 220 Russian cases, new cases. They've been expanded with a 242.5 pin expander. Um, we use lots of lube, good lube on the inside. What you don't want to have happen is when you expand that, you're pushing that neck way off center from the, there being so much force. The very best way uh, is to run them in a 220 Russian uh, full length die after you expand, just like we do with the 65284s. Um, and it will straighten that neck out to the body so you don't have body to neck run out issues. Now we're taking off depending how thin you're going, between three and five thousandths off of the neck thickness. So as long as you have less run out on your uh, neck than you're cutting for your thickness, you'll be okay. So this is just a homemade little concentricity checker so you can see we're just going to check and you see right here we've got about two and a half thousandths of run out check another one got three-ish check another one we got one one and a half check another one two and a half or so so as you can see we're basically three thousandths and less on the run out if you have any more than that you need to look at your expanding uh, methods I'll show you this is a non expanded 220 Russian you can see Basically 248, once they're expanded, 270. Okay, so if you look, our thickness before we start, 14.5, we're gonna rotate, 14.0, we're gonna rotate, 14.0, 14.35, 14 14.6. So you can see it's, uh, after expanding, uh, not real, Consistent on the neck thickness. Now, this is 220 Russian, not 6 PPC yet, so it's got a lot of body taper. Use your swab. Make sure your cases do not have lube on the outside. Shouldn't as of yet, right? So, swab out the inside of your case holder. Then, we'll take that case, put the machine. It doesn't need to be tapped real hard. Just a light tap. Doesn't need to be rammed in because when you take the case out, you're gonna damage the neck. So, come here. Just a, a nice tap. So you can just see the finish here. Got a good finish inside, outside cleanup. Let's check our thickness. Uh, I don't know, you guys are generally turning in the 8.6 to 8.8 range. So, as you can see, you know, that's one pass. We've got sufficient cleanup inside, outside. Good finish. I'll run, a, I'll run another one here. So, just take your swab. I would on the PPC, or the 220 Russian, so I would swab each time. So you make sure you got a good concentric bite on the case.
Now I'm gonna purposely tap this soft. The reason that is, some people say, well, the case gets stuck in there. So I'm gonna just purposely, well, that one came out too easy, but as you can see, we've got really good, sufficient cleanup all the way around. Really good finish. Same thicknesses. So, I'll just put a case in and show you. If the case doesn't come all the way out the back, meaning it doesn't pop out so you get it. Let's say, let's say after you tap it, let's say it's in between, right? It's not here, it's not here. We always just, even with the machine running, just push it in a little bit. It doesn't need to be seated. And just give it a tap when it comes out. You shouldn't need to tip the machine up and jiggle it or do anything crazy. And when you put it in, just, you don't need to be ramming it in. Just, you see, I'm not, I'm not hitting very hard. Well, let's cut this case and I'll show you. So you can see, it comes right out. If you guys are having problems with the 220 Russian cases, being pushed out while you're cutting, you, you got a couple things wrong. One, you're not taking even amount of cut out of the inside and outside. If you take a bunch off one side, you're gonna overload the cutter per se. You're really not, but it creates tool pressure. And the more tool pressure with this much taper in a case, which is a lot, it, it, it can push it out. So have even cut on inside and outside of the cutters and that tool pressure will be decreased and it, and it won't want to push it out that there's no trickery to it you just need to make sure that your case holder is clean your case is clean right. just, a, just a light couple of taps nothing crazy You kind of see the feed rate I'm going. It doesn't take a big tap. You shouldn't be bending the necks or, or anything when you're tapping them out. Okay, so that should uh, give some explanation in how uh, we feel the proper way to do 220 Russian that's going to be turned and fire formed into uh, 6PPC. Like I said, the very best way I would recommend is if you get a, uh, a die that's 220 Russian and expand it and then run it in a 220 Russian full length die. You will physically straighten out that body to that neck prior to turning, and you won't have any uh, neck concentricity run out. When you expand brass, and it doesn't matter which way you're turning. If you're turning on a mandrel, it's the same thing. You'll see those cuts and shoulders of, of people that claim they're getting good cuts on a neck thickness. Uh, but you'll see that it'd be cut way heavy on one side of the shoulder and hardly anything in the other. That's because they've expanded it so much and distorted that brass and neck so much that it's way off center. So how do other companies deal with this? Well, they run on a mandrel, but they float it in the back. So this case is basically just gyrating floating. Well, when you're doing that, things still are not held concentric, and that's why you're getting that, uh, that run out on the neck. You can see here, our run out on the neck is, it's really consistent all the way around. So hopefully that answers some questions on 220 Russian uh, case turning with Lapua Brass.